Hi guys, uh, today we're stuck at home because it's still quarantine. It's quarantine week four now. Um, so it, it's getting a little boring. <laughs> so I had to get a little creative. And so what we're gonna be doing today is looking at my old pictures. And when I say old pictures, I mean 2016, 2017, because that's like the oldest pictures that I have archived. So we're gonna take a look now. The first one, it looks like a Ratchet um, Vans commercial. Like I wanted to advertise the shoe and that is by no means what I was trying to do. None of these pictures have anything wrong with the model because I'm the one that told them what to do. So it's, you know, disclaimer, it's, it's all me. So looking at this picture, I'm seeing that my attention fully goes to the shoe because it's the brightest part. And so I'm sure I edited this this way, but <laughs> um, everything is dark. There's a lot of contrast going on. And so the only real bright part is, yeah, her shirt's a little bright, but it's kind of like hidden. And then the shoe, the shoe's just out there. And it's not even both shoes. It's just the one shoe on the floor. And then the fact that I had the model look down, it's like her attention's on it. Oh, my attention as the viewer should be on it too. Also, the, I don't know, the gutter thing, Oh, that's so frustrating. That picture is not straight. It's, I don't know if I cropped it that way, but it is so crooked. <laughs> There's a lot going on with that one. And I, I mean, I don't know. Okay, next one. Ooh, uh, I don't know why I cropped it this way. I, it's like a weird, almost square thing going on. So I did a lot of things with gates. Uh, I thought they were cool. I don't think they're cool anymore. Um, I don't know why, but I had my model always doing something uh, with holding it. Here it looks like, look at this bar, very sturdy, like I'm advertising it. I'm trying to take a picture of the model, not the environment. I didn't have her fix her shirt and there's a lot going on. There's a lot of wrinkles and everything and there's like a bunch up here. And that wasn't her fault because she's not looking at herself. That's my job as a photographer. So, you know, I hated myself when I had to edit these pictures because I was like, wow, I didn't think of that. <laughs> and it's like a flat image. I don't know. I think I just bumped up the the contrast and then the whites. And her hair is just, you can see how it's flat. There's no shine to it or anything. Oh, a big thing that thankfully I've always done is if they have, um, scrunchies on their hands, I always make them take them off because editing that is a struggle. Oh, this one? Okay. I hated this picture when I took it. I mean, I didn't hate it. It's just that I wasn't like, wow. But this picture actually won me an award. Um, and after that, I started being more proud of it. Even when I won, I had submitted three other pictures and I was like, how was that picture going to win? Uh, when I had these other ones that were nicer, in my opinion. It's pretty good. I don't I don't think I have anything uh, against this one. The way I got that reflection is with a prism. Those were like on Amazon for 10, 20 bucks. So here's another one with another kind of gate thing. First of all, it's not even in focus. And I used to do that so much. I never really looked, like I never zoomed in. And when you take the picture, it might look perfect, and then when you open it, like you blow it up on your computer, then you see, oh, well, this one, yeah, it's not focused. I don't even know what it's focused on. It's, oh, 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 nice. It's focused on the wall all the way in the back. The posing, I, I feel like all the pictures I took um, 2018 and before, all the pictures I took were mostly for the people uh, as opposed to with an artistic eye. And so I had no concepts in mind. For sure, I had no concepts. This is not, I think. Um, I didn't really know what a picture with a concept was. <sighs> the editing is super flat. I, I don't even have to comment that. All of them are probably gonna be super flat, except for the one I just said with the, the neon lights. That one, cool, okay. And then here, I'm also like taking away from her face. So I can't tell if this picture is about her or the environment, because it's kind of in the middle and it's super flat. I, maybe it would have been more interesting if she wasn't looking at me and I, I gave the, the picture more space. So I didn't do that a lot. I used to crop in a lot and then regret 
how much I cropped in because I was missing a piece. Or I would even cut people's fingers or like the tip of their head off. I see what I was trying to do here and the picture is not bad. It's not great either. I feel like I was trying to do something more high fashion but the lighting is horrendous. Love her hair is being highlighted um, with some backlight. Maybe if I would have taken her a little more forward so that she like her head was covering the light. So I didn't see the light, but I did see the light um, casted on her hair. That would have been cool. It was a good idea, but it's too dark. And it kind of just a little bit bothers me that the trees are there behind her head also because it kind of merges into it and I wish I saw all her hair because her hair is really pretty. Oh, this one I love. This one I probably will forever love. And this is one of the ones that I thought would win over the other one. I love her expression. It was very genuine. And I was also very much of a perfectionist when editing, so I definitely did a lot of editing on this. I'd get that one printed and framed, you know? Next one. This one's also another one from the same shoot. The sky is a different color now. I also fixed her hair a little too much. I think I was trying to be perfect, so I would kind of let the curls come a little loose because some of them even look chopped off on the edges. I don't know why this is in here. <laughs> I don't know why I chose this one. Um, oh, I know, because that column was just in the way and I don't love this picture, but it would have been cool if the column wasn't in the way. Everything else is moving, but the little girl's super in focus because of the, the settings I had. And so if I had only moved a little so that I could get her without the damn stick, then it would have made for a much better picture. Okay, also I learned that because I started uh, shooting film, brought more value to each picture as opposed to shooting, 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 and then going, oh damn, I, I should have taken just one more, but with this a little more to the left, to the right. It kind of makes you think about your shot before you take the picture, and you don't end up with 5,000 pictures of the same thing, and none of them are what you wanted. This next one, um, it's the next two actually, are a ballerina, and it was a really sunny day, so you could see her skirt, the top uh, right, is just blown out completely and a part of her arm is too so I definitely would look out for that next time but other than that I mean I don't love this picture uh, I feel like I don't I just I don't know how to fix it I just don't like it overall but if I were to fix just one thing to make this exact picture better is expose it a little less or use a reflector a diffuser to diffuse that side where the Sun was hitting too harsh uh, or even just shoot at a different time if you don't have uh, a diffuser or a reflector or anything. You don't understand how, how many times I had to take this picture and it still came out trash. For this, the problem is I didn't know my camera settings correctly, right? I didn't know the difference between raising the ISO or the shutter speed or whatever. And so this is what happened. The reason why there are three colors, three versions of her is not because I thought it was cool or an artistic choice that I wanted to make going into this shoot. It's because it was so freaking blurry because I didn't have the, the right settings that I couldn't fix it. I didn't have the right shutter speed. It was too slow. And so learning all those things, I mean, I don't regret not knowing at that time, but I'd, if only I had known, then I would have a much nicer picture. I don't know why I took this picture. It looks super posed. The fact that I cropped in so much and went so down, I don't like this angle at all. It looks like I'm making a commercial for a bank where you finally got your loan and you're like, wow, like capital something. I don't like it at all. And the editing is horrific. It was cold, but I don't have to show that in the picture. This is so blue, I can tell this is like the middle of winter. Oh yeah, this is another one of the same thing. It's kind of lacking something. It definitely needs a lot of space. Like I, I feel like, this picture would have been awesome if she was on the bottom left corner and then there was a lot of space and then she was looking at something. So I took this picture um, on film and I kind of was limited. Also, I was in the subway. New York is scary um, when you're taking pictures of people because you don't know how they're going to react. Right? So I was on the subway, and if you've been on a subway, it's so close together. So I was scared that they would hear my uh, camera go off, 
And so the mother's there doing her kid's hair, and I think I took like two, um, two versions of this, but this one was my favorite one. And so you're actually looking at her like daydream. Just the way I cropped that one as opposed to this one, I just think I did a better job now. And so I definitely now look more for how am I going to crop it? How is that going to make my viewer feel looking at the picture? Are they going to look towards, you know, what the person's looking at? Or are they just focused like this picture? Or are they just focused on everything? Oh, this one's bad. This one looks like another uh, commercial where they're just looking down at their thing. Like, so she's looking down at the bag. So it makes me want to go look down at the bag. Who told you to look down at the bag? It looks like I'm advertising it and there should be some signs around it advertising how much it is look at the scene and like close your eyes open your eyes what's the first thing that your eye goes towards um if it's the object and you're not trying to make it the object then change it either change the way the person's looking even if she was just looking a different direction it would have made this different i wouldn't be focusing on that i'd be focusing on what is she looking at you know also the editing we're not even going to talk about that one it's just so bland this is uh when i tried being more creative with poses and so she did a great job because she did exactly what I told her to do, just that I didn't know how awkward this was because certain poses work on certain models, so you have to kind of tailor your poses to your model at the time. I like this one. I like this one. I don't think I have anything to say about it. I actually still like this one. Um, I would maybe edit a few hairs out of her face, and instead of having lone hairs, maybe wait for a gust of wind to blow more and so making her more anonymous something like that would be cool also her scarf would have looked cool i could have edited that part too but her scarf could have like been flying away with her hair that would have been cool <sighs> okay that was a lot um i have grown i have changed my tastes a lot and my perspective on things because of the people around me and hopefully in the next five years I can do this again and be like whoa completely transformational five years again um but yeah so that's all I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time bye